gospel training is also a time in which the second horse offers Saddle Up for Life, one of its many community outreach programs, to residents of Camp Harkness in Waterford, Connecticut, a recreational facility for people with disabilities. This recreational ride, generally offered to residents of Southbury Training School at the Newtown facility, is looked forward to every year by camp residents and troopers alike. A lot of people in the troop help with the program at home, but when we're here, there's more troopers that don't necessarily uh, uh, participate in the program at home, and they get overwhelmed with the response and, and the smiles and the happiness it brings to people. I love you. In addition to the recreational rides, the Horse Guard runs a weekly therapeutic riding lesson for children and teens with disabilities. This unique program is an opportunity for these very special riders to interact with horses in a positive and safe manner, providing physical, mental, emotional, and cognitive benefits. Because they do parades, they're, they're really suited to, to therapeutic riding because they're used to unexpected things, unexpected noises. You do have to uh, choose horses that are not going to react to unexpected kicking or yelling, um, but we have quite a few. We have a herd of 25, and there's about 10 that I use off and on. And that's a lot. Some, some programs only have three, four, five horses because, as you can imagine, they have to have those special qualities. The Horse Guard plans to expand the therapy to returning wounded veterans as part of a national program entitled Horses for Heroes. I just recently got involved with uh, the I Know Vet Left Behind program where we're going to be working with that group of individuals to help support the local veterans in the state of Connecticut. So it's a lot of ceremonial work, but it's not only that. The Horse Guard is a lot more than just horses. In keeping with cavalry tradition, the second horse uses original equipment when possible, maintaining a unique collection of Army saddles and bridles. We use 1928 McClellan saddles, uh, which is the Army saddle. Uh, we maintain most of the equipment ourselves. Um, major repairs we do not do. Minor repairs we actually do here. Um, the bridles, uh, the halters, we maintain them. Uh, they're cleaned um, every time they're used. Uh, they're cleaned with a glycerin soap and it's, it's time consuming. And we put a lot of time into the tack department making sure our tack is safe um, because it's the safety of, of the trooper and the horse. So it's a very important job. Um, we have here. All this requires many hours of volunteer service and a commitment by each trooper, no matter the rank. I don't care who you are, work's got to be done, we just share the work. And when it comes to the horses, every person takes care of their own horse, regardless of their rank. We're a living history of the Calvary here. We're not just like a museum, okay? These, these animals need seven days a week care. All right, and sometimes even more. And I mean, that, that kind of dedication from people is pretty tough to find, but that's what we do. We ask a lot from our volunteers, and our volunteers put in a huge amount of, of time over and above caring for the horses, which is, which is huge in itself. So the people here really do have an amazing dedication to what they do here, and um, we're very proud of all of our troopers, all of our members, because it's, it's a big thing to do on a volunteer basis, and we do it for the love of these guys. Last year we had 67 scheduled events throughout the year. That is, includes drill. Um, last year the company total did about 30,000 man hours of voluntary service in the state of Connecticut, roughly. So that's a tremendous amount of time that, that these people put in. They're vol all volunteers in title. Actually, we actually pay to be here. We actually pay a monthly due to be here. But all these people are here because they want to be here. They can all leave whenever they like and they stay. It's not just a once a week thing um, and you're here and you're gone. It's kind of, when you belong here, the Horse Guard's always with you. Every effort is made by all those involved to serve the needs of the community. I'm hoping that we never lose that bit where we contribute and we step up to do what has to be done regardless of the cost. We enjoy it. We enjoy being part of history and the tradition of the horse soldier, so that's what we're all about. The annual horse show, recognized by the Connecticut Hunter Jumper Association and the Connecticut Horse Shows Association, is held in July giving area equestrians an opportunity to compete in English, Western, Hunter and driving classes. 
The annual open house held in early fall gives the community a chance to get up close and personal with the horse guard and gives the troopers a chance to demonstrate their skills with cavalry drills, team performances, and a musical ride. This family fun event includes exhibits of historical artifacts and seeks to educate the public about the guard and its many enrichment programs and services. Games and activities are also offered to children, along with an opportunity to meet the horses. We always welcome people to come in to share with us and show them who we are and what we do. Remaining ready to serve has been a long-standing cavalry tradition and one the Second Company Horse Guard prides itself on. Keeping that tradition alive for future generations focuses the Guard in their service to the state and nation. We're probably most visible in parades and people see us in our uniforms and realize that we're there supporting our troops. Um, we do represent the military and the history of the military and the cavalry, which in many states is lost. As the second horse looks to the future while keeping the reins tight on its past, the troop remains ready to serve in the rich traditions of its predecessors, no matter the challenge or mission objectives. Their loyalty to this company and their, their loyalty toward, towards one another is what makes units like this thrive. These people care and love each other, they care and love the horses, and um, this company will thrive for a very long time with people like you see here today. We've run into people that just joined recently and they've lived in Connecticut all their life. And they didn't even realize they had the opportunity to come here and, and learn to ride and to be part of history. I see us as a tradition and a part of history that we hope carries on for forever. We're so unique in that we care for these, our herd of 25 horses. Um, we use them for many things, for, for the parades, for events, and for our therapeutic riding program. Um, I just think there's nothing like us and I think it should be a matter of pride for this state. The only way you'll learn about the second company, Governor's Horse Guard, is to come to Newtown, Connecticut. Come in and see us anytime. Come and learn who we are, what we're all about. Um, that's all I could say, it's, it's, it's history kept alive. <laughs>